they enjoyed living. When they traveled together, that's what just amazed me, where they went to Egypt and, and to Peru and Paris. And... Yeah, well, the, the anniversary of Tom's accident was approaching, and I, I felt like I needed to, to do something to honor him and you know, also try to prevent what happened to me from happening to someone else. And so I, I over the, the course of the year after he passed away, I recorded video diaries as it was kind of one of like the only things that I could do that um, like actually made me feel better. It was kind of like therapeutic. And uh, yeah, so I you know made the, the YouTube video and I released it on May 7th, 2012. Essentially, they were living the American dream. There was an aura about them that just was something special. Well, I actually met Shane and Tom, the subject of this documentary, Bridegroom, at a wedding for a gay couple, mutual friends of ours, a few years ago, and a few years before Tom died. And they sat at my table that night, and um, I created a television show called Designing Women and Being a uh, good gay young man. They were well aware of designing women, and Tom especially was a fan. And I was just so charmed by them and their relationship. It was so evident that this was, that they really had a connection, and uh, they were just adorable. And I even said to my husband on the way home, you know, I hope they really uh, will get married someday because they just seemed so happy and so deeply in love. And then when I heard that Tom died. I was very upset. A man fell to his death from a four-story apartment building in Los Angeles. They, they won't let me in to see him. And I was like, Mom, like he died. Oh, my God, Shane. I, I said, seriously, who dies like that? The moment I want to re ever go through again. And, of course, we reached out to them to be in the documentary, and they didn't respond. And so I think, you know, they are remaining silent, but there are family members of his who wanted to be a part of the film. And they wanted, you know, to be at the premiere at Tribeca, and they support what we're doing. But they fear that if they show their support, or if anyone finds out about it, that they'll lose their family. And you know, so I want to be respectful of that. And so I don't, I don't know um, if they know what's happening. But I think but Tom would would love the way that Shane has handled all of this because Shane has continued throughout their mistreatment. To treat them with respect, and he is, and that's part of what's in the film. You know that Shane never retaliated. He wasn't even mentioned in the program at the funeral, and he was the love of Tom's life. Um, so I think he would be very proud of the uh, peaceful and respectful way Shane has gone about representing their relationship.